Okay, this is a little video for the MassBinder 2 program, just to show you how to use it. Here's the MassBinder 2 RAR file that you'll download. Here's the folder that you get when you extract from the RAR file. Inside the folder, you've got MassBinder 2 EXE, ResHacker EXE, a modified folder, the payload folder, original folder, and your icon folder. Your icon folder is where the, the icon that you're going to be using for your modified folders when everything's done. The original folder, that's where your files that you'll be binding to go. Your payload, that is your PPI EXE file. And modified will be where the output is. ResHacker, you use that, the command line version of it. It's programmed out through the program to change the icons in the modified folder. So let's go ahead and start up MassBinder. Okay, here we've got MassBinder all started up everything. In the payload box right here, this is your PPI EXE. The target EXE files, those would be in your original folder. You can have as many as you need. I've only got two just for the demonstration. For company name, you can put in whatever you'd like. It's just to change the default description in your output files. Product version is the same thing, whatever you'd want to put in there. File version, same thing, whatever you want to put in there. It doesn't really matter, it's just to change it so it's not the default Microsoft CAB description. Just a second, I'll fill those out real quick. Okay, now that we got that filled out, we go up here to the Create SED Files, click that, and it'll process our files and bind make the script that we'll use to bind them together this is just a sample SED file you can look it over and make sure everything's right after that's done you're gonna click the run SED bat file that's going to process all the files that we created in the first step okay now we've processed that we've went through the bat file and the modified folder you see we've got our two files, these are our combined files. If you look at the properties on them, you'll see that under the version tab, test company, that's the where we filled in the, in the program, file version, product version, our copyrights to our test company, everything's kosher here. Okay, back in MassBinder, we're ready to change the icons out. We're going to go ahead and create an SPT file. This is going to be our ResHacker script file. We just click that button. It shows us a sample of what the script looks like. Everything's cool in there. And this shows where our icon is. Again, this can be any icon you want. It doesn't even have to be main, named MassBinder. It just happens to be that's what I was using for the example. After we're done with that, we're going to go up here and click the Run RH Bat file. And that will process all our programs that we've made and change out the icons. Once it's done, it'll say finished. You just hit OK on that. Then we can take a look back in our modified folder, hit refresh, and our icons have changed out. That's all there is to it. Anything else, hit me up on the forum or email me at nestordwarf at gmail.com. Thanks.